Port City Ordinance of the 1994. Okay, I remember. Um, and in that ordinance, we stated that people could not go in public places. Is that correct? It defines, uh, provided a copy of the ordinance. Okay. Uh, and that we don't limit. smoke in uh, West Bay Mall, right? It limits where public where smoking can take place, but it also provides for the establishment of smoking designated areas. So again, it, it's it's not the most restrictive ordinance that would prohibit smoking in all public places. Okay, my feelings about this is we already have an ordinance in place. We have a business downtown, restaurants downtown, like Wildwoods, for example. They have a bar. People have a tendency to smoke when they drink. Now, um, <coughs> if a restaurant or a small business decides that they do not wish for people to smoke, then they need to tell them. <coughs> My concern is that if we say that a restaurant or a business in the city say they cannot smoke, then we have another thing that we're adding saying that they can't do. We're, we're one of the strictest places that I know as far as getting people come in. We charge them for this, we charge for that. We mandate they can do this, we mandate they can do that. Are we gonna start, start saying that on musical man you can't drink? I mean, people will go crazy if they can't drink, some of them. And that is one of the most deadly things that we have. People drive away with too much alcohol. For me, I think that the restaurants have responsible bills, businesses downtown, that they can decide that for themselves. I'm asthmatic. No, I don't mind smoking, but I don't have the right to tell a restaurant what they should or should not do. <coughs> Mr. Robert, after this started, Ed, uh, some of the businesses downtown have asked me to come and, and sit down and talk with them on this matter before any action uh, has taken place. They want to uh, have their side of it. Um, and I don't know, I can't stand and tell you are they for or are they against it. Um, but I think if we, we don't go forward, we need to do some research and see what the businesses in versus downtown, how they feel about it. Um, I, I know there are some establishments that do allow smoking uh, <coughs> and, and smoke do come over into the non-smoking area. Um, but um, I think for we we, we uh, go into this, we need to look at it very carefully and see uh, which way we're going to go and, and get with our downtown uh, merchants uh, group and see what other complaints have they have uh, from that standpoint. We, we, again, if that would be certainly part of the evaluation process. Did want to engage in that without some comfort level considering. Joe, um, just a minute. Outline here, you say the ordinance, that the current ordinance provides broad discretion to property and business owners to establish smoking areas. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned that what we're doing here is taking away a lot of the discretion of the business owners. I've had, like Mr. Reader, conversations with the people uh, who own businesses of various types, and uh, they tend to think that they're capable of making decisions for their patrons themselves rather than having the you know, strong arm of the city come down. Um, I, I understand the health concerns. Uh, I don't, uh, all of us can arguably say that we don't care for smoking like that. I, I, I'm concerned that the city is trying to impose a regulation on a business, and yet we would turn around and have an event downtown that would promote outdoor consumption of alcohol smoking and consumption of foods that would be unhealthy. So we're kind of contradicting ourselves in some ways here by telling the business owner they need to be concerned about the health of the individual and yet we promote special events downtown that would not necessarily be healthy in nature. Uh, I'm, I run the risk of sounding like I'm taking a position when I try to respond. Uh, I would comment that uh, the, I would suggest to you that the, the arguments related to smoking are the second-hand impacts, certainly, uh, uh, in which don't is, uh, that are somewhat different from, or suggested to be somewhat different from other uh, what is 
consumption of alcohol, certain risk associated with consumption of alcohol for third parties. Uh, those, there's, uh, there's certainly a, a body of laws that regulate what is the legal behavior and what's not legal behavior with respect to alcohol. You know, we have not formulated any position, and by the virtue of bringing it forward, I don't want to suggest that staff has. This is a pure case of pol policy matter for council to decide. Uh, uh, in the absence of, and I, and I understand the dilemma that, that I've put council in uh, related to trying to gauge where that position of council is, and again, did not want to be in front of council or lagging behind council uh, with respect to the matter. So I'm hearing a mixed message. Of, I'm sure there's other. If, if I can just add uh, one more uh, a suggestion, <clears throat> maybe getting together with citizens, including the business owners, including everyone that has an interest in this, and let's let's have one of our patented city workshops and work through this because well, I think it's better than trying to just hold this council and get it, get our because obviously you're getting a variety of, of views on this. That, that is essentially what we ask council if you were prepared. Process. Uh, we will then compile both information and set, make a, suggest, a suggestion related to a public process. Uh, meetings individually with business owners, opportunities for uh, people to be, all sides to be heard on the matter. But again, I did not want to kick off that. There was some sense that hey, that seemed to be the appropriate next step to take. Come away with that tonight. That's what we'll do. If we don't. We don't. Okay. Um, I see this um, as an economic development issue first and foremost. I think that we need to be competitive for companies and people locating in Spartanburg. <coughs> and the fact that we're the only major municipality of our size in the state that doesn't have an ordinance, um, I think, says a lot. I think we need to be leading on these kinds of quality of life issues and not lagging behind. Um, it's an undisputed fact. Smoke is dangerous, um, and almost 75% of our county are non smokers. And if you translate that down to the city, that's um, only 25% of the population in the city are non smokers. So the non smokers are our smokers, so the non smokers are the majority, not the minority. Um, and um, I spoke with the mayor of Clemson uh, last week, and they were they had businesses there that were in that way against the, the ordinance. Um, nine months later, all the businesses are completely for it, um, and uh, one business has even said business was up 35% in the past nine months. So I'm really interested to see where this could go going forward. Jerome, Mr. Mayor uh, and, and, and Mr. Minnick, and just thinking about uh, all we have as a city staff in front of us without this uh, smoking ordinance, having staff pull away from stormwater having staff pull away from uh, the budget, having staff work on another initiative and compiling information and getting data to bring back to us. I just don't think at this particular time we need to go in that direction. Also, uh, speaking with uh, some of my council members, even more recently, our, at least two of the most recent downtown 